Welcome to Daily Spanish with Mr. Briggs. Today, he's going to show you how to use SER when talking about professions, occupations, and relationships. So let's get ready. Andale! Hola amigos, and welcome to Learn Spanish Well. Bienvenidos. That means welcome in Spanish. If this is the first time you're here, please subscribe and join us. My name is Mr. Briggs and today we'll continue learning the verb to be in Spanish, the permanent one, that is ser. So we already talked about ser, we said that we use it with permanent things. So as we've been talking about the two verbs to be in Spanish, ser and estar, we are concentrating in the ser verb, which is for permanent things such as profession. So if you wanted to use the verb ser to discuss profession, you would be able to use it like this. Yo soy doctor. That means I am a doctor. Yo soy, I am doctor. Yo soy doctor. That means yo soy doctor. I am a doctor. Tú eres maestra. You are a teacher. Female, notice, it's got the A at the end. El es policía. And notice, it's got an A, but this is one of those exceptions. There's always an exception to every rule. Policía. There's always an exception to every rule. The word policía can be used for masculine and feminine. El es policía could refer to he is a police officer. Or you could say, ella es policía, she is a police officer, she is a police officer. Nosotros somos jardineros, that means we are gardeners. Nosotros somos jardineros. Vosotros sois vendedores, this is the form used in Spain. Vosotros sois vendedores, that means you are salespeople. Ustedes son intérpretes. You all are interpreters. Ellos son empresarios. They are businessmen or businesswomen would be empresarias. So as you can see, we use the verb ser for occupations, for professions. Don't forget, ser has got to do with permanent things. Permanent. Permanente, that's a new word for you. Permanente ser. Ok? Alright, very good. Muy bien. Muy bien, amigos. So here we are, and we're going to dig deeper into this particular subject about the verb ser to be in Spanish. We also discussed that ser, which is used for permanent things, apply, for example, to nationality, occupations, professions. And it also applies to, when it comes to personality traits, characteristics of a, a particular person. For example, I am shy. I am timid. It's something permanent. Uh, it's part of my personality. So, I would use the verb ser and I would say, Yo soy tímido. That means, I am shy. I am timid. Yo soy tímido. So, as you can see, we use ser for permanent personality traits, such as being shy. Número dos. Tú eres generoso. That means you are generous. Tú eres generoso. You are generous. Once again, personality traits. Next one. Él es sociable. I am sure that you're having so much trouble with this word, aren't you? <laughs> it's so similar to English, isn't it? That's because this is a Latin, it's a Latin derived word. And both English and Spanish share a lot of these Latin um, derived words, such, such as sociable, which is pronounced as sociable in Spanish. So, él es 
sociable. That means he is sociable. Next one. Siguiente. Nosotros somos, that means we are, inteligentes. Nosotros somos inteligentes. And yes, you guessed it right. Inteligentes means intelligent. We are intelligent. Aren't we, guys? Yes, amigos, we are. That's why you're here, learning another language. Vosotros sois amistosos. That means you are, you all are friendly, amistosos. And don't forget, vosotros sois is used mainly in Spain. Next one, which means the same as vosotros sois, but in Latin America. Ustedes son alegres. Ustedes son alegres. That means you are all happy people. You are happy people. Alegres. Ellos son divertidos. They are fun. Divertidos means fun in Spanish. Divertidos. Ellos son divertidos. So once again, you can see how ser applies to all these permanent personality traits. Now, one thing that you may be wondering is how can I learn more about describing and talking about personality traits? There is going to be a video, it may already be there, so check it out. Um, an animation, an animated presentation where you will be introduced to personality traits and emotions as well. So you may want to have a look at that video because that will help you expand your vocabulary as well. And this is precisely what we're doing here. We are learning about the two to be verbs in the Spanish, to be or not to be, that is the question, twice, ser and estar. But we are also learning and expanding our vocabulary because we are also learning a lot of new words. Okay, so if you're not familiar with these words, um, I strongly encourage you to watch our videos. Check in the um, other playlist. We got a, a playlist with animations. You'll be able to find that video in one of those playlists. I'll put the link here. So I will also put, put a link here on the video, so make sure that you check the description and you can click there. And give us a like, subscribe. As I said, we'll be uploading videos on a regular basis. And that was today's lesson. We hope that you enjoyed the lesson. And please, if this is your first time, subscribe. We'll be uploading videos every day. Okay, amigos and amigas, it's been a pleasure. Take care and see you soon. Adios.